All right, guys, welcome back again. Um, this time we want to look at the Inspiron 14, but this is the new version. As you can see, there's models here. And we had a look at the Inspiron 14, and now we're going to have a look at the new Inspiron 14, which has a different processor, apparently. And um, it's quite interesting. It also has a Qualcomm. Um, uh, it's not available. All right, cool. All right, so we just go back to what it is, which is the Intel version of it. And um, I'm going to go through the specs as quickly as possible. All right, so um, if you didn't have a look at the previous video, you should probably have a look at the previous video. That laptop was $500, US dollars. This one starts off at $649 US dollars on Dell.com. And in this one, there's two options for the processors. So these seem to be newer processors, Intel Core 5 processor 120U. I don't know why they keep changing the names so often, but it seems to be a new thing now where like they're innovating like every quarter or every uh, few times for the year and so they have to get different names for these processors so anyways this one starts off at the core 5 processor 120u so we look at the pass marks remember i said anything over 10,000 is usually a good sign of a decent enough system one of the higher end systems would be 20,000 and over so anything over 10,000 is more than enough for students uh you know basic usage watching movies um light gaming fairly light game it may be light to medium gaming maybe um because games are getting bigger now um but yeah it, it, it should be a workhorse for even work um you know a, you know excel powerpoint that kind of stuff that this processors over ten thousand should be fine so i had a look at the pass mark for this and um the pass mark for this is nice it's actually sixteen thousand zero uh three seven it's not fantabulous, I would say, for the price compared to the, um, the, sorry, this is the wrong one, actually. This is, oh, yes, this is it, 17475, actually. So this was the previous one. This was in the old uh, version of the Inspiron 14 for 16. And there's an improvement of 1014, yeah, about 1475 more. Marginal, you know, even though it sounds like, oh, it's a whole thousand more you probably won't feel that that much so it but it is you know you pay for the newer technology all right so that's what you're paying for um is it worth maybe we we will have a look at the we'll have to look at the other specs to see whether it's worth the extra 149 us dollars so we'll be back but yes it starts off at this this is the base processor that you've seen here with the core 5 processor 120u now the there is an upgrade from, um, option, option available, which is the processor, the 150U processor, and that should be this one. Yes. Now, this value looks lower. Let me explain what happens so that you guys know. So when there's not enough benchmarks, the values tend to be lower, and you also see margin of error is medium. All right. So as more people buy this and do benchmarks with the Passmark software, this will get more accurate. I, I, it's hard to say whether the value is going to go up. It, I would assume that this i7 150U should be higher in value than the 17475. Just because if you notice here, they were made around the same time, Q1 2024, Q1 2024. And usually the core 7s are, are, are a little higher than the core 5s. However, I would not expect by looking at the... Um, the specs, the performance cores, and the, the efficiency cores, that there should be a dramatic number in difference. I would suspect, I'm just forecasting, so don't uh, don't hold me for it, but I would suspect to see that the pass mark for the i7 version will, will probably go up to about 18,000. Very marginal. So let's have a look at the difference in the price. I, from from me looking at this, I would say stick to the stick to the five processor one twenty U for the price, which is six four nine. Because when you change it to the seven, looks it goes up by fifty US dollars, and you're probably not going to experience any much difference with it. So unless you really really need it, it doesn't make sense to me to, to even spend fifty more US dollars on on this i seven. Um, the the it's not an i seven. The seven processor one fifty U. Yeah, just stick with the the five you, sh you should be totally fine here now the operating system comes again with home if you do want uh 11 pro it goes up actually i think that is that 100 us it goes up by wow it goes up by 100 us is it worth it probably not you could probably get a key online 
that you could pay cheaper from one of these the 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 uh, keys online stores. Make sure it's legit. Uh, the website is legit, of course, when you do that, and you'd probably get that for fifteen to twenty US. So I don't know why you would want to spend um, so much on it. But anyways, I I digress. This one does actually come with it just says Intel graphics, which is also onboard graphics. I would not expect anything uh, awesome for uh, gaming, right? So this is not a gaming laptop. Um, but it, 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 it will be able to handle, you know, work, video, basic video stuff. Like, I mean, watching a movie, that kind of thing, you should be fine with that. Now, one of the things, um, I must say accounts for maybe paying a little bit more is that this actually comes with 16 gigs of RAM. The, the one that I did previously, the old, uh, the older version of the Inspiron 14 laptop came with eight gigabytes, but it came with DDR, was it five or six? I don't know. I can't remember. Um, do I have that here? Uh, let me see. If you just Maybe I could take a look at that quickly and just confirm. It comes with 8 gigs of RAM. We're going to have to open this up to see. It came with, I think it came with, yes. Yeah, so it came with laptop DDR5 RAM 4800 MTS. Um, and this one comes with DDR5 but 5200 MTS. So this is faster. So the RAM itself is faster. You would expect an overall faster performance. Would you notice it, though, is the question. I feel like it's going to be faster, but you're not going to notice this, like if you're using some basic Office applications and that kind of thing. Boot time might be two or three seconds faster, I would expect, from this laptop versus the other one. We would expect that, if all things are equal. It does have double storage than the other one. So I'm saying, for $149.99 so far, US, if you have the money, you should probably go with this one. Because it has a little, it, it has double the RAM, it has double the storage. The speed of the processor is faster. It's not double faster, but it is a little bit faster. You're getting something newer. I, it, it's fair enough in the price, right? So, anyways, let's go down to the display. The display looks like it is um, 60 by 10 FHD, 215 nits again. So, 215 nits, bright, that's the brightness, more or less like the other one. Not really fun to use in a sunny outdoor area but it should be totally fine you know inside an office um you know at home that kind of thing you should be fine the lighting once the lighting is not too over bright like the sun there now there is an option for what seems to be a <coughs> excuse me a 2k monitor and it is also brighter let's have a look at what the price change looks like oh that option is only available on the i7 processor so you have to choose the i7 processor, the, the new processor, and then choose this. Whoa, and it goes up by a lot. Let me see this back. So $699, $899, wow, that's $200 US more for this. <laughs> wow. Is it worth it? I wouldn't pay that, I, I, I wouldn't pay that price for it. But um, again, up to you, but what you want to do. Um, it does come with an ice blue English AI backlit keyboard. Would I like an ice blue? Backlit keyboard, probably not. I prefer, prefer a white backlit keyboard. That's fine with me. Um, and it does come, the colors, it seems that there's only one, one color, which is a sort of blue. Right, so it's a sort of blue. And um, yeah, uh, I can imagine that it would look okay because, I mean, they, they set a blue setting. Uh, let's have a look at it. It looks like it's very similar in design to the, the old one. I see the ports and stuff look the same way. Right. Um, yeah, so it does look like it is, um, yeah, um, so yeah, it does, it does look like the same sort of form factor, I see like the ports there, but we'll just have a look at the specs very quickly as we close up this one. Um, so let's go to tech specs and see if there's anything further. Why did it go up by that? Oh, right, because I chose the processor. Let's go back to the 6.9 tech specs. Um, we see that this is all of the stuff that we just went through. You still have to get your, you still have to get, you know, if you have office, you'll have to probably pay uh, additional because this one comes with 30 day trial. I said already, don't go with McAfee. Don't recommend it. It does not, it, it, from, from my experience a few years ago, it does not pick up viruses very well and you probably will find yourself, you know, yeah, in, in some trouble there. Um, I do recommend perhaps like things like AVG, stuff like that. There's a free version of AVG. You could install. I've been using it for years. It looks really good. Um, and, uh, there's, uh, one year of basic support, um, included, right? Um, uh, remote diagnostics with hardware only support. Okay, good. Accidental damage, none, same thing. 
comes with um okay good so they removed the uh, the thunderbolt port and they added in a type c so this comes with three usb ports but they, they're not all the same there's two standard size usb ports that's the biggest ones that most devices even long ago um have right and then there's now this small um i think that's called the type c port the type c port is like what the new phones have all right so there's one of that and um Oh, this is actually, no, so this is, uh, it seems that this is for the older processors. This is for the new processors. Okay, yeah, so it does come with, yeah, pretty much the same thing, power delivery. So to that small port, you could actually add an external, um, a USB hub, a special, the special hub. Um, I'm trying to remember what you call it, a USB, a USB C hub that has a VG, uh, that has display out, and you could actually get a second monitor. So you could hook up a second monitor there. But I think they do also have the one HDMI port and there's an asterisk here. So it says it only supports the same way, it only supports the 1080p at 60 hertz, so 60 frames per second. So it does not do 4K or 2K, which I kind of find it surprising. Again, but again, oh, you know, you have to be like specifically doing 4K video to really want that maybe. Or, I mean, if you're watching Netflix, you will not get the Netflix to be at 4K. If that's a deal breaker for you, I think it might be like I just like when I have I, I might never use Netflix before 4K, okay, but it would be nice to have a laptop that you know could go up to that quality. All right, so something to keep in mind. It does have the SD card, uh, one wedge shaped lock slot. Not something I've used, but I guess there's a lock a locking mechanism for it. Um, there's a the camera comes with there's a 720p camera. So this is why well okay so this somehow has two cameras. Why I'm not exactly sure why. Um, with a single microphone and there's a 1080p so i guess maybe you have to choose that you have to choose the options that that um for that one and then it comes with of course the wi-fi 6 that's fine for cell surprisingly the battery life is lower than the than the the the, the previous one that's interesting i thought that you know normally the newer models would have had you know more efficient uh, processes but maybe there's other things happening on the board so something to think about um that the older version um of the inspiron 14 has longer battery life or claims to have longer battery life um but nine hours is still good it's over eight hours which means school and you know like a day of school or a day of work um the, you know it's fine it's fine there uh maybe we should have a look i'm kind of curious to see what happens when we look at the camera um let's see if we have the option to choose that and oh we, yeah there's also the support as well too so you, it, it shows you like um how much it'll cost for two years three years wow that's a lot um so for three additional years <laughs> uh, excuse me oh you could probably add an additional year no 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 yeah so they make this thing kind of rather confusing actually don't have an option um but yeah so to for three years you're kind of spending a lot more for, for warranty but i would suggest that if you have no clue about laptops you probably need to have like three years of warranty that's a lot so look around this might not be the cheapest option for you available out there okay based on that um but yeah i want to look for the options for i see no options for video as yet so it seems that i don't know how it seems to claim that it has two i wouldn't trust the website for that i would say just assume that it's one and assume that it's not going to be a very high quality camera for the price of these laptops um but with that said i think overall for the price it's <laughs> not bad but again you pay, you you're more paying for the fact that it's the newer model hardware and not so much really that much benefits per se out of it other than the 16 gigs of ram and the one terabyte space so if you need double the space and you need maybe double the amount of memory because you're going to be doing some more more work related stuff maybe development you probably need this for like if you're using it for docker virtual machines that kind of thing this extra memory will help out but you won't be able to run like a lot more vms you'll just be able to run a lot whoa that's the <laughs> cameras did some crazy stuff there but anyways yeah so that's kind of it um I hope that this helps you out. If it did, please like, please subscribe. If there's any other laptop you don't like me to review quickly as well, let me know in the comments below and I'll try to do those videos. And with that being said, thank you so much for viewing. Hope you have a wonderful day. 
and see you guys in another episode of RTHG coming to the YouTube screen. Now you take care. Bye bye.